Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Carolina Panthers and the Washington Commanders. And it comes your way next on Madden Football. We are approximately five miles east of Washington, D.C., and that's where you find this place, Commander's Field in Landover, Maryland. Brandon Gordon and Charles Davis on hand. Kickoff just moments away. Charles, quickly, keys to the game. For me, it's coaching. Who prepared his team the best going into this one to give them the confidence to believe that they would win the game? That's who's going to come out of this one on top. Here's the former Sooner, Austin Seibert, to get this one started. And we are underway from Commander's Field. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. So here are the Panthers now for their opening drive. They'll be let out by the Red Rifle. From TCU, it's Andy Dalton. If your team is in a pinch, there aren't many quarterbacks who can bail you out like the Red Rifle. You know, he brings a ton of experience to any quarterback room. But he's a perfect mentor who can help a young quarterback as he goes through the maturation process. But often when he gets his number called and he gets on the field, his team feels very comfortable with him under center. Play action here with Dalton. He'll get this complete to the rookie first round pick. Five yards on the game's first play, second down. In motion right is Mingo. Snap came at one, now here's Dalton. He completes this one to Mingo. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. They will run for the first time with Miles Sanders. And he fights forward for a modest two-yard gain, second down. You've got to be impressed by that defensive front on reps like those. They were not being moved off the line, kept their shoulders square, and gave their teammates time to fight to the ball and limit that gain. So from the 37, here's a second and eight. A former Oklahoma State Cowboy, it's Chuba Hubbard. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. A couple extra tight ends in the formation here as they line up third and two. They'll try and run for this with Hubbard. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. I'll bet they thought they had picked that one up because it was a third and two call, and they got awfully close. Now we're at fourth and inches. I wonder if they think they're feeling lucky here <laughs> and maybe want to go pick it up. So on fourth down, here's Johnny Hecker to punt it away. Call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And the Commanders will take over with a first and 10. So the Commanders make their way out on offense for the first time here. And it's the rookie, Jaden Daniels, the number two overall pick, leading the way. And he was the number two overall pick in the draft because he is special. A dual threat athlete at the quarterback position, beats you with his arm and his legs, and runs the ball better than any quarterback since maybe Lamar Jackson came out of Louisville. 
But with that being said, he's got to be smart about how he runs the football. He puts himself in position to take some big shots. He's got to be on the field and available for him and his team to be successful. And he's able to get this one up to his 30 before he's out of bounds. The result, only four yards there on the play. And it'll be second down. Clock rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. Now Daniels. This is caught by Robinson. Seven yards there and a first down. That's a pretty play there coming out of the backfield. But as that back, you've got to be conscious of making sure you're securing the football. When you get out in open field, sometimes you get a little loose with it as you're trying to get up ahead of steam. Make sure you keep it close to your body because those defenders are trying to punch it free. He does a nice job there protecting the ball and picking up a first down. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. To the air goes Daniels. Complete to Zacchaeus. Finding room at midfield. And he's able to get this to the 40-yard line before he's out of bounds. The Washington passing game dialed in now. It's a first down. I like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play. Because guess what? The guy catching the ball, he'll get all the credit. But how about the people have to block in front of him, either fellow receivers or offensive linemen? That makes that play a really nice timing play, and sometimes it can break big. So from Panther territory now, it's first and 10 right at the 40. Daniels looking to throw. And his pass incomplete. Well, they certainly did a nice job there, picking him up out of the backfield and then running stride for stride with him. That's good coverage, and it led to an incompletion. Now a second and ten. Play action, now it's Daniels. And he'll slide to a halt here. Still a little shy of the first down marker. He turned that into a nice game. Gets him eight yards closer for third down. This early in the game, it's all about making steady progress downfield, hoping to lead to early points. And you can do it with your actual play calls or sometimes something a little more improvised as we just saw there. Robinson will try to pick it up. And Robinson will not get there. Great defense at the point of attack going to stop him short of the first. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. It's probably a pretty good sign here on the opening drive if your guys from the secondary are coming up and spilling things in the backfield. How about the adrenaline and aggressiveness that led his eyes to the backfield to run up there and make that tackle, setting a tone early for his defense. Going quickly out to the right side. And shedding through the tackle. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. They're able to keep the drive alive seven yards that time. And the decision to go for it proves to be a good one. Charles, their first drive of the game. And already they're taking chances here. But they get the fourth down conversion. I I'm curious, do you think that that's something they game plan for on the opening drive if it came up? Or is that something that happened organically? I think that they game plan for it, Brandon. And when you think about it, let's just say it. The word analytics is a big part of how everyone looks at a game nowadays. But it's not just the analytics. It's a coach willing to be daring, willing to be bold. And they certainly were there. No score after one on EA Sports. Second quarter now from our nation's capital, and it's Washington in possession of the football. Maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive. Here's second and 11. Off the play fake, Daniels. He completes this one to Terry McLaurin. And he takes it down to the 10-yard line. And now time will be called here as Washington has an injured player down on the field. 
While they come out and take a look at him, we will step aside for just a moment. Here we go now on first and goal. From the shotgun, it's Daniels. He's got it. Touchdown, Commanders. From 10 yards out. And the Commanders post the first points of the ball game as they take the lead here in this second quarter. Well, with this rookie QB, we talk a lot about his ball placement and how good he can be at laying it right in there. I think we just saw, Charles, though, the strength of that arm. That was an absolute rifle for the completed touchdown. It absolutely was, and let's face it, you think he was really ready to get that first touchdown? Absolutely. He threw that pass with authority, just as you described. Big-time arm right there, and let's face it, a lot of quarterbacks used to be pitchers in baseball. The fastball was usually their best pitch, and we saw it there. Following the touchdown, here's Seibert now to kick it off. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The Panthers coming back out onto the field for their second drive. They'll be looking to match that touchdown from a moment ago. 7-0 is the score as they begin with a first down. Now Dalton. A short throw hauled in by Trimble. It'll go as a gain of four, and that will bring up second down. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here, and what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Now a second and six. A give up the middle, Hubbard. And he's brought down at the 34. Call it a gain of four. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? Well, they need two. Here's third down. Right back to Hubbard. And the broken tackle helps lead to a first down gain. Give him six yards, and they do convert on third. I think I saw a lot of shoulders just drop there. And what I mean by that is they finally were able to relax a little bit because that was an important play call. They needed to pick up that first down at this stage of the game. Yeah, couldn't afford another quick drive and out. Play action now. Dalton. That one completes it again. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. A good pick up there, 21 yards. And really burst onto the scene in his last year at South Carolina. Second in the SEC in receiving yards with 1,255. But you see the style, explosive, physical. Tough matchup for any corner. From Commander's territory now, it's first and 10 at the 38. They'll run out of the gun. It's Hubbard. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. I have a feeling they'll stay committed to running the football, especially on the early downs. They just haven't had a whole lot of success just yet. So after the loss of a yard, they'll look to push forward here on second down and 11. From the gun, Dalton looks to throw. Open man is Mingo, complete. Short completion, just four yards, third and seven now. 
but it appears that they read man defense and went to the out route. And what you have to do on that one is the receiver's got to make sure he works the defender towards the middle of the field to give himself space to cut to the outside and have that ball delivered with good timing. And they got it done. Dalton. Under a heavy rush and down he goes. And that'll bring up fourth down on the big sack with a loss of five. Pressure can come from all over when you're plotting a defensive strategy. On that particular play, it just came from the outside. So on now is Johnny Hecker to punt this one away. Out of bounds and close. The question, was it a touchback? No. They'll say it crossed out at the two-yard line. The commander's going to retake the field for drive number two. This could end up being a pretty big drive. I mean, look, yes, it's early in this game, but they scored the touchdown. They got the stop. And now if they could get in the end zone here again, CD, they could grab an early stranglehold on this one. Yeah, they certainly can. And that's what you're looking for. Where's the advantage? Can you gain it? Can you press it? Now for them finishing it off because right now it's out there for them they've just got to go seize it they're going to go with a tight end here on the running play and he'll get this up past the five to the seven yard line it's a pickup of four and it'll bring up second down and while they hope to continue this drive it's really already mission accomplished they've given enough space now that they have to punt the ball they've done so with that first run A give left side to Robinson. And yeah, he'll work free from one tackle, but that's about all as he's taken down. Two yards the game there, and now they're left with a third and about four for a first. He's definitely tough to get down. We just saw it right there, but how about what we did see? Pursuit, wrap up, and then the big finish with the tackle. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. This now a third and four. Here's Daniels. He's got his target. That's complete. And he'll go out of bounds just shy of the 20. It's a first down for Washington on a pickup of 11. A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him, and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out to the sideline and make a catch. To throw is Daniels. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. He did an okay job of absorbing the hit, just couldn't secure the football through the catch. And he was right there on the spot and forced the incompletion. That's something defenders work on all the time. If you're there, make the contact, but continue to work your way through the receiver so that you can't possess the football and turn it into a catch. Looking for McLaurin, and he's got him. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. 17 yards is the pick up there for number 17. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open, just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space, and it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. Nice progress down the field was halted by that incompletion. They could try for some safe yards here to get things moving again or keep throwing it and pushing it downfield to try and pick up bigger yardage. Here's second and ten. Throwing now is Daniels. This is Ertz on the pitch and catch. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. Now a timeout called for by the offense as he'll get a chance to talk it over after picking up the first down. Again, he'll drop to throw. 
Zaki is here, hauling it in. He'll get it inside the 20. And he's going to be forced out of bounds inside the five-yard line. Big yardage that time for Washington. And even 50 yards. And the offense is saying to itself right now, only they were all this easy because he was wide open. And once he made the catch, plenty of room to work his way downfield. That was a breakdown on the defensive side of the ball, one that they want to fix immediately. After the big play, a chance to finish now on first and goal. Robinson is in. Touchdown, Commanders. Another impressive drive. So they're two for two, two touchdowns. Charles, a great start to this ball game for them. And one of the words that's really worked its way into our lexicon is stacking. They've stacked momentum each time out, and not only on offense. Between those touchdowns, defense held, forced a punt to get the ball back, and they played awfully well in this one. Both sides playing at optimum level. Cybert on for the PAT. And it's good to make it 14-0. That time, a nine-play drive. And it was capped off by the touchdown run for Brian Robinson. Following the touchdown, here's Seibert now to kick it off. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The Panthers are going to go back on offense here late in this first half. And with a little under a minute remaining, they may try to put something together here just to try to cut into that deficit. So first and 10 now from the 30. Andy Dalton. And he fumbled it. It's on the ground. And it's Washington that scoops it up. And they have the football that will set up shop at the 33-yard line. We have seen this before, and we know coaches preach about this and work on it all the time. Catch the ball. You know there's going to be some traffic somewhere. They've got to put it away and secure it as they try and get downfield. The commanders back out late in this first half. And now following that turnover, they've got an opportunity here to try to cash in with good field position before intermission. Following the fumble recovery, Daniels escaping the pressure right. He'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. I do think it's fair to say that they were caught off guard a little bit when he decided not to throw it on first down. But give them credit. They recovered in time to deny him the first down yardage. But it's only second and short. So that run is still likely to lead to a new set of downs. Now a second and two. Back to throw. Daniels looking for the out route, and he's got it. It's complete to McCaffrey. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. What I love about watching the passing game nowadays is that the one-dimensional receiver is really starting to leave the game. You've got to be able to do it all. Of course, you've got to run fast. Of course, you've got to catch the ball. But route running savvy and toughness there's a premium for all of that now. Touchdown, Washington. A great effort there as the first half is winding down. And the Commanders will extend their lead here just before halftime. 
So, Charles, that's three touchdowns on three drives, and it's just been an offensive barrage so far. Great word, partner, using barrage right there. I'm going to add another word if you don't mind. How about perfection? No surprise that they're leading right now. Absolute dominance throughout this ball game, and no signs of slowing down. Here's Seibert now to add the extra point. And it is now 21 to nothing. Scoring summary, three-play drive. And it was polished off by a Washington touchdown. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And Raheem Blackshear now to return it. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. And with 10 seconds left, not really enough time to put something together. And he'll just push his way forward for a few as the clock will run. It'll be a gain of four here, and it will take us to the end of the first half of play. So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game so far. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. What a treat to watch the rookie in that first half. The number two overall pick, Jaden Daniels. He came on after a slow start to fire two second quarter touchdown passes and give his guys the lead at the intermission. So Washington in a good spot. They've got the lead. They will get the football as the second half gets underway. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. The commander's offense and Jaden Daniels getting set for this next possession. And as we show you some of the highlights from earlier, he has been instrumental in getting his guys the lead as he looks to finish strong and close this one out. Out there, set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. Right now, everything they touch turns to gold. This is their fourth possession. Touchdowns on their first three possessions. I mean, this defense, they can't seem to stop them. It's like they're on skates. Great analogy, Brandon, because they are pushing them back and winning everything at the line of scrimmage. They've just been laying down tracks towards the opposite end zone. So to themselves, all they're saying is, if we don't make a mistake, there's no way they can stop us. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and ten. Robinson up the middle. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. And he is going to lose yardage here. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. When a draw works, it can be a thing of beauty. But when it doesn't, oh, it can be ugly. And in this case, loss of yardage ugly. Third down and ten. Oh, 
Working out of the gun, Daniels. And it's going to be incomplete. He was able to catch it there on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. And it's going to bring up fourth down. And that is exactly what you needed defensively. It's a long road back from here, but that's a good start to the second half as they force a punting situation and a fourth down. Here's Tressway now. And the way this offense has moved the ball, he hasn't been needed till here in the third. And no one there to stop it. Hits at the eight, but it carries all the way into the end zone for a touchback. The Panthers' offense now, they head back on the field for their first possession of the second half. And Dalton and the Panthers now with a first and 10 at the 20. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. There's Trimble, the tight end. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. Now they may want to go back to that one. First play of the drive, good for 15 and a first down. Well, we talk all the time about playing situational football. And right now, I think the scoreboard is dictating what they need to do. Where they are in this game, they've got to push the ball downfield, take their shots, try and get big chunks of yardage in a short amount of time. That was a nice play there. And they'll run on first down with Hubbard. And he'll work this forward for about three at second down. Well, another modest gain there on that one. And I think, Charles, you can probably pin part of the deficit on a failure on their part to really get this ground game established. Yeah, and they've really struggled to be multidimensional in this one, haven't they, partner? Because they have to be extremely one-dimensional now if they hope to get back into this game. They'll have to do it by throwing the football and hope to have success through the air. Got a man, that's Leggett. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Give him 10 there, good enough for a Panther first down. And that's the kind of play this offense needs to maybe kick him into gear a little bit. They've been stuck in neutral much of the game. Perhaps that can give him a little bit of confidence the big plays are out there. In motion right is Mingo. Snap came at one, now here's Dalton. That's caught by Mingo, right side. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. I think as he began this throw, you saw that the area was congested, but he has a lot of confidence in his arm, and he fits that one in there nicely. They pick up the catch, not much yardage afterwards. Straight ahead with Hubbard. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. He got maybe a half yard at most, but officially they'll be left with a third and two. So nothing there that time, and maybe you need to look to the O-line. They weren't able to create any space. No, they weren't, and you know as well as I do, as many offensive line coaches we've ever met, I think that'll be addressed loudly when those guys get to the sideline. And they're usually loud and big. <laughs> and he will be very close to a first down, but I see the closed fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. I guess they figure they got to start taking some chances. Here's a big one in this third quarter as he'll go for it on fourth down. In motion right is Mingo. Boy, and now they can't even get a playoff. Now the offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. Here's Johnny Hecker now as he's on to punt for Carolina. And this will depend on the spot as it sails out of bounds. And they'll say it sailed out at the 10-yard line. Now here we go on the next drive for Washington. And as we look back at how we got here, you'll notice a common theme in these highlights. A lot of yardage through the air. The passing game has been sharp right from the outset. 
So well done there. And these punters, they get more specialized and better each and every year, don't they? They sure do. And now it's really not the American punters. It's the Australian punters with their kicking academies and that flat drop and just kind of kicking the nose of the football. They're able to almost stop it where they want to like a good golfer can check one up. The Washington offense at the line and ready to roll. And now you've got the clock winding down here in the third quarter. Your three scores to the good. What's your approach on this drive? Too early to fully commit to playing the clock game. Yet at the same time, you're also not going pell-mell like you would in two-minute offense. This is what NFL offenses call four-minute football. Take the clock out of the game a little bit, wind it down, but at the same time, keep advancing the ball down the field. In the third quarter here in D.C., a second and ten upcoming. Out of the gun, they give to Robinson. Still fighting. And able to get it across the 20 before they get to him. 13 yards there and a Washington first. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup. Back to Robinson now on first down. Oh, there's a nice move by Robinson. 44 yards rushing now on eight carries for him so far. They had a chance to limit his yardage, but he was able to fight off that tackle. So it's not just the responsibility of the guys who missed the tackles along the way. It's all 11 on defense, able to stop this guy, unable to do it on that play. They've got to find a way. How about his ability to break through and gain that yardage? And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now at Commander's Field. A lot of happy faces in the crowd at this point as their guys have a big lead here to start quarter number four. In motion left comes Brown. On first and ten, it's Robinson. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, second and 12. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through. But that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. The slot man in motion right. Now oh, here's a fake on the jet sweep and a give to Robinson. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. Give him six on the play, and that's going to bring up a third down. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. The offense on third down, just one for three thus far. This will be third and five. And he'll be stopped well short. Only two yards there, fourth and three. Defensively, they were all over that. When he decided to keep it, there were a lot of eyes just darted on him. I wonder if he followed the progressions properly there. I think maybe he really wanted to run with the football. Turned out not to be the correct decision. Here's Tressway now as he'll kick it away for the second time. And now where will the side judge stop his walk? That's the question. He says it crossed out of bounds at about the 17-yard line. Here's the Carolina offense as they get ready to take over here. And let's face it, this drive is not going to have any bearing on this game, but it's kind of important for one reason, isn't it? It certainly is. you got to get points. And okay, all right, I'm being facetious here. But you get points, you feel a little bit better about yourself as you move on to the next one. And Dalton and the Panthers now with a first and 10 at their own 17-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. He finds his man, Johnson. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets this football out shy of the 30 to the 29. Well, those are the types of plays they probably wish they had made more of in the first three quarters. And this deficit going to be tough to overcome here in the fourth. But a nice first down and a pickup on that throw. Yeah, and this is where his coaches 
You're looking for effort and execution, even though the scoreboard is going against you. You want to find out who's going to fight, who's going to scrap, who's going to keep their heads up and continue to play. Ah, that's tough to play zone defense when they can just curl up right there in front of you. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we, we talk about finding the soft spot defensively. How do you make sure they don't find the soft spot like they did there? Tough to do because what they normally will do is run routes that will pull you out of that spot that they want to get into. That's what we call not taking the cheese, right? Don't go for the mousetrap. But it's hard to do because when you see a guy cutting that in that direction, you tend to go towards him. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Well, that was a pretty favorable situation there. What would you call that? Second and manageable? Smart play, too. Didn't force it downfield when he didn't have it. Just checked it down, let him get the first down, and that's exactly what he did. And again, Andy Dalton to throw. And it's knocked away and incomplete. That's coverage you'd expect to see in a tie game late. Not in a lopsided game like this. They are not letting up. Under four to go now as they come up on second down. Out of the gun, it's Dalton. Looking left sideline, but it's incomplete. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. In motion right is Mingo. Third down from the gun, Dalton. Open man left side, it's the tight end Trimble. All told, it's a loss of eight on the play. And that'll bring up fourth down. Did they maybe play that too safely on third down? I know you don't want to just throw a ball blindly downfield, but that didn't help them a whole lot. I think they probably said if it's open, take the shot. If not, get something safe because we do have fourth down to try and pick it up. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. Uh, no reason not to try it there, and they do indeed convert on fourth. Well, give them credit. They're going to stay and fight this out to the end. Fourth down, you've got to go for it. And they not only convert, but pick up some good yardage as well. Here's Dalton. And oh, that nearly their first pick of the game, but it falls down to the ground incomplete. They had their backs up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple of more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. Now Dalton. And he's going to lose yardage and be backed up to the 25. They'll wind up losing three here on the play. And it'll be a third and about 13. And that was a heck of a play there on the outside. Partner, sometimes I think on a play like this as a corner, you've got to think to yourself, all I've got to do is slow him down so others can come over and support. But in this case, he said, forget that. I've got this. Sorry you had to make the run for nothing. Oh, it's intercepted. A drive killer there. Picked off by Benjamin St. Juiced. And the Commanders are going to take over once again at their own 25-yard line. This spot in the fourth quarter with that deficit had to throw the football. Unfortunately, there's the risk of big turnover. And you know you're going to be throwing against nickel, dime, all sorts of exotic defenses, but you have to do it anyway. Ordinarily, you might want to run the football a little bit, try and get them out of it. But as you noted, this time of the game, this point on the clock, had to throw it. Another drive coming up for this Washington offense. And after the interception, they are sitting in an even better spot with the ball and a comfortable fourth quarter lead. Now a handoff to start it out. Robinson. 
And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. The fourth quarter here, they've got the lead. They want to keep it on the ground. That's what they're doing. Smart football. Keep the clock grinding. Keep it going. But you got to figure now, they're going to see more people stacked up at the line of scrimmage as they try and bleed it out. So it's commander's football as we get back to it. And the scoreboard on their side, they're just looking to melt away these final couple of minutes and put this one in the left-hand column. On second down, another shot for Robinson. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 62 yards rushing on 12 carries for him now. I know we're in the era of wide open football, a lot of spread formations, more space, but there's still a spot for power football. We just saw some of it right there. How about that run? Yeah, breaking the tackle. And, you know, late in this game, he wants a football in his hands. He's had a good day. They'll run again here with Robinson to the 43, second down. I have to chuckle to myself a little bit, Brandon, because right now I could be in that huddle with that offensive line. And I know exactly what they're saying. If you call a pass play here, we're going to call a timeout. Run the football. <laughs> We've got control of this thing. Get in behind us and let's go. Their time to shine. Straight ahead, it's Robinson. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. So a victory here for the Commanders. And this was truly a total team effort, Charles, on both sides of the ball. But they absolutely pinched a shutout, so it can't get much better than that, right? The defense led the way, but the offense did their part as well. They moved the ball up and down the field. So you've got to like what you saw. What do they call that? A total team effort? I think when it's time to hand out game balls, guys from both sides will end up getting one. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hardworking men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. The Commanders pick up the victory as we say so long from our nation's capital.